Trashaholic fam. Well, welcome back to another episode. It's uh, 5 a.m. We're hopping in the truck right now. And uh, for today's fishing mission, we're heading up to uh, Sebastian, Florida. And uh, I was actually just there yesterday fishing a new spot. And uh, I put in like 8 to 10 hours. So it was a long day out on the water. And uh, I ended up uh, falling asleep on the couch and uh, waking up at 3. And uh, I tried to go back to bed, but... I can't sleep because if you saw my last video, I got on a gator trout, a uh, keeper fluke, or flounder, I should say, sorry. Uh, but uh, I missed this monster snook that uh, gave us an epic strike and first run, but unfortunately the uh, hook just uh, popped out. But uh, right along that same island, I saw many, many more big snook. So uh, my mission is to go back there and try to figure those fish out. So I want to get there for first light or false dawn, maybe even in the dark. It's going to be like an hour and a half to get there. Sunrise is at like 6.50. So uh, we might get there like right before sunrise. But uh, I think that should be perfect so we can like catch some bait and kind of position ourselves in the area and uh, hopefully get uh, a big snook to eat and if we're really lucky maybe get on a like a big snook bite of like you know multiple big snook because i saw like many many big snook there so uh, anyway let's uh quit the chatter and hit the road and i will see you guys at the water Unfortunately, it took us a lot longer to get here than I was anticipating because uh, it felt like I hit a wall on the way here So I had to stop and get a coffee and get something to eat and then of course go to the bathroom and uh, Finally now we are here fully loaded and ready to take on the day and uh, it's about like 7 40 a.m. But uh, before we head out there huge shout out to Navalis apparel for hooking me up with my entire outfit for today and uh, They sent me out this super comfortable long sleeve tee hoodie and uh, their apparel is made from 95% bamboo and UPF uh, rated protection for up to 40 plus. And they also hooked me up with a nice pair of bamboo shorts, which are super supportive, lightweight and comfortable. And if you guys are interested in checking out Navalis Apparel, just click the link down in the description and use my code at checkout. Now uh, let's get down to business and see if we can get on a bite. First order of business is I wanna go out there and see if we can get some bait, but uh, we also got some plugs that we can toss around. So let's just get after it and see what happens. All right, I'm seeing a bunch of finger mullet right here in this cove. I brought my eight foot cast net today where yesterday I just had my five footer. So I'm hoping this will help us uh, get all the bait we need for the outing. I see a bunch right there. Oh, I just got a Mahara. That's actually a good bait, so I'm gonna throw him in the bucket. Got a bunch of mullets and looks like another Mahara. That'll be perfect. All right, look at these juicy snook baits right here. Uh, we got our baits it took us about like 20 30 minutes but uh, we caught about like a dozen and a half of the little like two to three inch maharas and like three to six inch uh, finger mullets which i think will be superb 
juicy baits for today. And now we're on the move, heading about a mile north to the same spot where we lost that big snook yesterday and saw many others. So I will see you guys there. Right, well, we just about made it. And uh, although we just caught uh, the bait, I have this uh, Rapala V2 skitter already tied on. So I'm gonna just work this entire west side of the island with this top water and uh, just see if we can find some more aggressive feeding fish and just like, you know, cover as much water as possible really quickly and uh, then after that slow down and probably fish it all again with uh, the bait. So I'm gonna try staying kind of far out here from the vegetation and casting in and working this plug all the way out to where I am. And I wanna cover like this entire like 30 yard like window between me and the island because uh, yesterday I remember most of the big fish I saw were sitting like 10, 15 yards off the man mangroves. Oh, that's a fire cast. And it, it looks pretty shallow right there. And I saw a couple, oh, there. Yeah, I saw a couple of like marks that looked like fish there, and here's one right here. Yeah, big snook. Oh, he threw the plug. At least we got a bite. Let's try that again. There he is. Monster fish and he came off. Oh man. That was 35 plus inches, maybe even 40. Holy. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, it's good we're in a secluded area because uh, there was some foul language that just came out of my mouth after losing that one. Whew, that was such a big fish. And uh, we just threw the Rapala V2 skitter around for another hour actually. So it's been an hour since we had that second bite and there were two hours in between the first one and the second one. And uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time, a lot more time throwing uh, the top water than I thought I was going to, but we got the first bite like right away. And uh, I figured we'd you know, go further around uh, the, the island where we didn't fish yesterday and uh, explore some more waters. And I did see some snook over there, but uh, we came all the way back to where we lost the big one yesterday. And that was basically right where we, uh, uh, lost the uh, second fish today. So what I'm thinking we should do is uh, try throwing some bait around and maybe if we can get a bite on that, we can keep one on the hook. So let's give it a go. All right, let's see if we can get something to eat this little fella. There's a fish. What do we got? Oh, we got a redfish. Heck yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find one yesterday. Well, I, I saw one, but I wasn't able to catch one rather. And uh, yeah, it was about the same size as this guy here. Sweet. 
haven't caught a Florida red in quite some time. He uh, slurped down a little Mahara. Well, I've got a big update for you. It's been many hours since uh, we caught that redfish and I thought we were on to something uh, and I worked up and down that island with the Maharas, the finger mullets. I also threw in a little swim bait like I did yesterday and um, I also went back to uh, the Rapala and uh, Nada. It, uh, it just seemed you know, de like a desert. You know, it was extremely futile and uh, I, I've been scratching my head the last few hours wondering you know, what, what is going on, but uh, there is something to learn from that. I noticed that yesterday a lot of my, the better action was earlier in the day and uh, today you know, some of the, you know, the bigger better action that we had was earlier as well. It wasn't like hot and heavy, but like we were getting more bites. Uh, so that might have something to do with the tide or it could just be time of day. So I will be back for a redemption big snook because that's three big snook that we lost there in two days and uh, I can't take it. I, I'm going to be like ecstatic when uh, I finally uh, get a big one in the net or on the grippers there. So um, anyway, we're going to head on back to the launch. Uh, I would explore around more if it wasn't so windy, but we explored around a lot yesterday. And uh, right now it's, you know, it's blowing like 25 to 30. So we're just gonna beeline it back to the ramp because it's uh, 5 p.m. We don't have a whole lot of daylight left and uh, we're gonna load up the kayak and I want to head to a spot where we can do some bank fishing where uh, I've had some success uh, recently. And uh, we'll just see if we can bend the rod a couple more times before uh, the end of the day. So I will see you guys there. We made it. Let's try this little bite-sized Mahara here. We have uh, an outgoing tide right now and it's like the last like hour or so. So we might be here long enough to also catch the beginning of the incoming. All right, nothing on the Mahara. So now I wanna see if we Got any little mullets left in here that I can use. There's one. Just noticed my uh, bubbler just died too. So it's kind of like perfect timing. Look at that little morsel. Oh, just got hit right there. There's a snook on the mullet. Whoo! Sweet little run from this little guy. And it was an epic eat as my mullet was just tripped in right along the rocks. He turned on it. Sweet, chunky snook right there to end the day. All right, well, 
that fish is going to wrap up this uh, tough day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And unfortunately, uh, we lost our two biggest fish of the day. And we were so close to having an amazing day if we landed both of them. But uh, that's fishing. So I'll uh, just stay persistent and get back out there uh, the next day I can. And hopefully uh, get on those big ones and uh, get them in the kayak. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more. And until the next video, live a fish. Fish to live.